I'm Harrison Brown from Biking in the World, and I'm in New Orleans! I'm Harrison Brown, and I'm an adventure cyclist. I'm going to be biking by myself over 6,000 miles from Fairbanks, Alaska, all the way to Key West, Florida. Every day on the road is an adventure. Let's start pedaling, because the adventure begins right now. So I've made it all the way to Nashville, Tennessee, and today I'm going to be exploring the Country Music Hall of Fame. I'm looking forward to seeing Eric Clapton's guitars, Elton John's piano, and all the sandwiches eaten by the mamas and the papas. Let's go explore! And it sure is time to get there. At the Country Music Hall of Fame, there sure are a lot of things behind glass. While I was in Nashville, it also happened to be Veterans Day, which means parade! There goes a real World War II veteran. That's a Humvee that was used in both Iraq wars. So today in Nashville, I'm going to be checking out the Johnny Cash Museum. Let's go check it out. I even stopped by Jack White's Third Man Records. That's a booth that allows you to record your own record that you could send home. And it's the exact booth that Neil Young recorded his album, A Letter Home, an album I listened to a lot on my journey across North America. Since leaving Nashville, Tennessee, I have been on the Natchez Trace Parkway. This was originally a superhighway. Traders and farmers would bring their goods down the Ohio River and the Mississippi River and then walk back on the Natchez Trace back to the Ohio River Valley. You can see the original sunken trace. Now I also like to call it the Nacho Trace Parkway. Why? Because it's, it's like a big piece of nacho. Lots of cheese and lots of chips. I'm in southern Tennessee, and right behind me is the grave for Meriwether Lewis, part of Lewis and Clark, who set out on an expedition in 1803 to reach the Pacific Ocean. Now, I actually followed a lot of the Lewis and Clark Trail on my way out of Portland, on my way east on my biking expedition. Now, after their expedition, Meriwether would actually become the governor of the Louisiana Territory, and upon returning from his great expedition, experienced lots of depression, and he was on his way to settle some affairs in Washington, in DC where he may have committed suicide or had been murdered right along this area of Tennessee. It's a mystery. Who's gonna figure it out? I don't know. Probably murder she wrote, Angela Lansbury. As I continued down the Natchez Trace, the temperatures would drop and I was freezing. There were nights where the temperatures would get down in the teens. Onwards to Alabama, Roll Tide. After crossing into Alabama, I would soon venture off the Natchez Trace for a little musical detour. Right here in Florence, Alabama, I'm standing just outside the childhood home of W.C. Handy, the father of rhythm and blues right here in the South. He would go on to influence everybody all the way up to modern day rock and roll. It all started right here. He would live here and then eventually grow up and move to Memphis where he would do his original recordings. But it all started right here. Right here in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, I'm just outside Fame Recording Studios, legendary. People like Wilson Pickett, Aretha Franklin, the Allman Brothers, Percy Sledge, Etta James, just to name a few, all recorded right here at Fame Studios. Even my favorite band, Fish, they came down here. Trey Anastasio came down here to record the horns and the backing uh, tracks for their latest album, Fuego. Hey, this is truly, truly awesome to be here, uh, right here in Muscle Shoals with such a unique sound, uh, the Muscle Shoals sound, pretty legendary. 
then it would be time for me to bike across town. I'm in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and right behind me is the Muscle Shoals Sound Studios. Now, this is the studio that would be created by the Swampers. If you remember the lyrics of the song, Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner, they go, in Muscle Shoals, we have the Swampers. They were the session studio guys from fame that came over here and started their own recording sound. Right in this building is where legendary music and artists have been creating music for years. It's within these walls that the Rolling Stones recorded such hits as Wild Horses and Brown Sugar. I would then get back on the Natchez Trace and head into the state with the lowest literacy rate in America, Mississippi. After cycling over 7,000 miles and traveling along the Mississippi all the way from Minneapolis, I have finally reached the end of the Mississippi right here in New Orleans. And now it's time to get a big taste of the Big Easy. Okay, it's time to get my burger on right here in New Orleans. I got a good recommendation from a local, good high school friend of mine, Justin Halls, and he recommended, what's this place called? Company Burger. So we're gonna go have some company burgers. Let's get messy! <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's a good company burger. Time to go to the office. <laughs> On the next episode of Biking Into the World, I finish taking in the sights and sounds of New Orleans before beginning my last leg of my journey to Key West, Florida. Yeah.